Lesson for All, daily at 6 a.m. Welcome to another episode of Alpha. I am Roger Allen, and today I'll be sharing you from a topic standing on the ancient backfield. But before I do so, I invite us to pray. Father, today we are grateful for another day. We thank you, God, for your holy words. And as we look at it today, we pray, O oh God, that your spirit will reveal the message to all of us. We give you thanks. In Jesus' name, amen. Standing on the ancient battlefield. So today's focus is on Ephesians chapter 6, verse 10 to 12. And here Paul is talking about the battlefield. As a matter of fact, I'm going to share with you Ephesians 6, 11, 13, and 14. It says, put on the whole armor of God, that he may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. In Ephesians 6, 13 to 14, wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, that he may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all to stand. Stand therefore, having your loins girt about with truth, and having on the breastplate of righteousness. So in this case, Paul is presenting the word of God in a a battle scenario. So these three successive actions that occur if a side is to be victorious. So we have like three things that need to take place before a side needs to be victorious. One, soldier must close with the enemy, which means they must march to meet their foe. And we are talking about ancient battle now. Back then, armies used to, opposing armies used to meet each other on the battleground. And the only way that they could do so is to face each other as on in order to be victorious. Secondly, they must attack and stand or stand our ground, fighting hand to hand with their foe. So they could not only pray, but they had to go into battle in order to defeat their foe. Their foe. And finally, they must beat back the enemy. So it's either the enemy will retreat or the enemy will surrender. But they had to fight in order to make certain they come out victorious. All calls to arms reflect combat in which soldiers were bunched together, giving and receiving hundreds of blows at close range. The thicker they were, is the more able they were more able to withstand the enemy because they could defend each other. This is confirmed by Paul's depiction of the church's battle against its foes as a wrestling match. And of course, the church foe is Satan himself. He says, stand in verse 13 that you may be able to withstand in the evil day. And as we look at what is taking place, we know that we are in tough times. But Paul gives us the assurance as we look at Ephesians chapter 6, 10 to 20, that as a people of God, we must stand. And not only to stand, but we must put on the whole armor of God, that when the enemy attack us from different directions, we are able to defend ourselves. And my encouragement today is that we stand for God. And that, my friends, is a lesson for all. Let us pray. Father, we are grateful that you have given us sufficient warning. But even though we have been warned, we still take things for granted. Help us, O oh Lord, to spend time in your words so that we may be properly clothed with your words so when the enemy will attack us, we might be protected. We know we are in a warfare. We are in a battle with an evil. The great controversy continues but lord we know that with your help we'll be able to to overcome the enemy so help us oh god not to depart from the truth and to depart from your words but to stand reading sharing and doing your will father we thank you for being with us we pray through jesus our lord and savior amen thank you so much for joining today please join tomorrow for another spirit faith episode of Alpha. until then god bless Daily at 6 a.m.